As music producers, the number one resource we have is not money, it's not beats, it's time. Today I got time, cuz. So when we make a decision to work with somebody, especially if we're doing it for free, we need to make sure that it's the right type of artist and it makes sense and we're not just wasting our time. So I'm gonna share some things that I wish I knew when I was just starting out, working with everybody for free, that would have saved me a lot of time and a lot of hassle. So let's get into it. Hit the button cause I'm trying to get my subs up. I know you feeling this, so hit it with a thumbs up. Today's black t-shirt is not important, but what is important is the orange cautionary vest that we have on top of it because this is a cautionary tale about working with the right type of artist that's gonna make sense and pay off in the long term so we're not all just wasting our time. Today I got time, cuz. I've got five things to look out for when choosing artists to work with. I have ranked these five tips based on how important I personally feel they are. So if the artists have the ones at the end, you're probably in good shape, but if they have all five, you're golden, keep working with them. So yeah, let's jump into it. And because we're going in order of importance, I'm gonna start off with number five, and that's gonna be traction. This includes artists that have a decent following, are doing good streaming numbers, maybe have a team of people around them, or they're signed to a label, anything that indicates they already have a good thing going and something is working. While this is the least important box on my checklist, I'd be lying if I said it wasn't important at all, because let's face it, if we had two identical artists and one has demonstrated that they can succeed in some type of way, you're gonna go with the one that's proven themselves. Clearly something is working and I feel more confident that I can help add fuel to the fire. Number four on our list of things to look out for in artists that you might potentially collaborate with, especially if you're working for free, is communication. You talking to me? You talking to me? I can't count the times I've had an artist hear some of my work, ask for a pack, I send them a B pack, they say I love this one, I'm gonna record on this one tomorrow, and they do, but I never hear from them again. I don't get to hear the song, I have no idea what the plan is, is it getting used on a project, is this beat still available for me to send to other artists? I have no idea what's going on, I'm completely in the dark, and it's very frustrating. Artists that are canceling sessions last minute, or just leaving you on red, it's just a recipe for a relationship that's probably not gonna be the best going forward. Artists that keep a high level of communication with me, I can tell that they take their career serious and they really want it to work. I can tell they take me seriously, so I'm more likely to invest more of my time into what they're doing. Number three on our checklist of avoiding time being wasted. Today I got time, Gus. With artists that don't make sense to work with is that you actually think the artist is dope and has some talent. It's not the highest thing on my list. Sometimes if I think an artist has potential but hasn't gotten there yet, but they check off boxes two and one, then I'll give them a shot. But at the end of the day, let's be real. If you don't think the artist is any good, it's probably not gonna work out. If your goal is to make money and there's a big artist who you don't even really like and you wanna get a check from that placement, by all means, all our goals are different. This is not an end all be all. But for me personally, I kind of want to put something out that I'm then proud to listen to. I'm proud of you. Number two on our criteria for finding the perfect artists to work with is artists that actually match your sound as a producer. Maybe I just sound like an old head millennial when I say this, but there's a lot of shitty music out right now. And I don't think it's because the younger guys have any less talent than anyone else. I just think it's easier than ever to make music so anybody with a cracked copy of FL Studio can link up with any guy that has four bars written on a note on his iPhone and they can make music together. This is why it's super important to me that I find artists whose sound I genuinely think I can help evolve. And this doesn't mean you have to stick to one genre either. I think there's a lot of great producers who can produce multiple genres. But the artists you're gonna have the most success with are the artists who wanna create the same type of stuff that you wanna create because you can both get excited and feed off of each other's energy and feel this thing coming to life that is your song. If the visions are even slightly different, I just think that there's gonna be a friction and you're gonna come out with mediocre music. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, number one on my list of things that I look for in potential artists to work with, especially if I'm working with them for free, drum roll please. Number one thing I look for is 
work ethic. To me, there is nothing more attractive in potential artists to collaborate with than seeing how hard they are busting their ass every day to advance their music career. You could be my favorite artist ever, whose sound matches up perfectly with what I like to do, with a huge following, and your communication is flawless, you hit me back immediately. But the second I see that you don't really work that hard and you're not trying that hard to succeed, I'm turned off, man, I don't like it. It's easy to think of all these songs you're making as little lottery tickets, and any one of them could get you the big jackpot. But if you really look into the underbelly of what's going on, it's the people that are working hard. Behind every one hit wonder is a long stretch of hard work. And this goes both ways because artists that see producers working hard are naturally gonna wanna gravitate towards them. So producers that are working hard and artists that are working hard are inevitably gonna find each other and they're just gonna lift each other up past the rest of this noisy nonsense going on down here, this lack of effort. So if you wanna avoid some early mistakes that I made in my music production career, you can look for artists who you think are dope, who communicate with you well, who match your sound well, who maybe have some traction going already, and who are working hard and really, really want this thing. I hope this video is helpful for somebody if it is, let me know in the comments. If it's not, let me know in the comments. If you have ideas for other videos you want me to make, let me know in the comments. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Please click the thumbs up, it's one click. It helps me out a lot. And please smash the bell icon so you get notifications when I drop new videos just like this one. And until next time, three out. I'm on the tube, on the tube, on the tube, yeah. I'm on the tube, on the tube, on the tube, whoa. I'm on the